Howdy, this is uh, my painting, a uh, tribute to Rick Griffin. Uh, this was created for an art show in Santa Monica, California, where there was a surfboard that Rick Griffin had painted and was gonna be on display. So I thought it was a great time to give tribute to Rick. Uh, a lot of people have said my art looks similar to Rick and I definitely soaked up some of his uh, inspiration. And yeah, this is on a Jerry Lopez a uh, gun shaped by Ron House. It was done at the Sacred Craft Fair uh, down in Del Mar. And this was kind of my depiction of, of Rick's journey as an artist. And, you know, I was on the same journey, or I am on the same journey as Rick, and I just um, feel so lucky to be inspired by his art. And he left us so much. And, um, yeah, these are kind of all the little cool characters that I soaked up from him in my own interpretation of his journey through life. Some of the more specific things are, you know, this little character, which is in many of Rick's works. Uh, this mask that he's wearing is kind of inspired by uh, some of the Indian masks of the Hopi and Juanicho Indians, uh, something he was very interested in. Uh, this was uh, one, out of one of his cartoons, I Am the Eye. And that almost like you, as you look out into the world as an artist, you, you kind of feel part of the universe. Uh, you can see the snake coming down, you know, going through his legs. It goes into a wave, uh, the heart with the eye in it, um, just kind of being part of everything. Uh, the one eye, it, it, those of you who don't know, Rick was in a motorcycle accident where he had lost his eye and it became one of the motifs that he was uh, always drawing. Um, it's also a spinoff of Von Dutch's uh, flying eyeball, so uh, many artists paint eyes just like I do. And I feel like everything's alive, so this is kind of just morphing into these little fetuses going into the universe. And, you know, we're born into this world and then we get, you know, put back into the universe. And, uh, yeah, lots going on.